Hey guys, this is Trailblazer5280, and I just wanted to show you the little bit of progress I've made on my Mora number one handle. Um, so this, this is the blade I have. Uh, I made a short video about this. Um, and I got some scrap wood here from my uncle. He was doing some work on their house, and you know he had a pile of stuff left over, so I grabbed it. and. I thought that the, the grain pattern was really cool, the light and dark, so I decided to I grabbed one from him, and um, so far I've cut out a piece from here, and I split them just off center so that when they come together like this, they'll be a little thicker than like what the full piece is. Because the full piece is, it's thick, but it's not incredibly thick. Um, so... That's the normal piece right here, and these are the other two. It's just a little bit thicker. So, so far what I've done is traced out the knife onto the inside, um, and I've started, just barely started chiseling this out, well, carving it out, really. Um, I have chisels, but I don't really have a way to secure the wood, so I can't use those. Um, it would be a little bit easier, but I just have a little a carving knife that I got and, you know, came with a set of blades, so I'm just going to use those to try to get out the center piece here. Okay, so I've gotten one piece done, uh, the carving. It's, it's kind of rough, but um, it'll do, I think. It, uh, the blade sinks in about a little more than half the width, half the, you know, height of the piece of metal into the wood. Um, and I figure it's better, it'd be better if it's too deep than too shallow, you know, so that it, it can at least have a, a good seam between the wood and it'll fill in with the epoxy when I'm all done. But anyway, I just want to show you guys kind of my technique, if you can see it, hopefully. Um, so what I did was, and this is kind of a... <laughs> I had to kind of figure it out with, with this piece here, but um, I used this blade, and it's just a straight one, and I used it to score the edges. I cut down, you know, pretty deep um, into the wood, and now I'm using this curved blade. Um, it kind of helps me get into spots a little bit easier, but now what I'm doing is cutting, like, at an angle, don't know if you can see it right there, kind of a trough focus. Um, but I'm cutting at an angle from from here down down into the uh, the score, so that when I cut it, you know, the piece of wood's already cut down there, so then the flake just kind of comes off. Um, and then I just sort of slowly do wider and wider ones and work my way back, and then I, you know, flip it and do the same thing. And it's not. It's easier if you have a clamp and some chisels and something flat. You know, if I had a chisel, I could come in and, like, go all the way pretty deep, you know, with a skinny chisel, and I'd actually be able to make the piece flush and just completely flat on, like, this one, which is really rough. I don't know if you can tell, but, um, like, the base is really rough inside there. So if you have chisels and, like, a vise or clamps or whatever, I suggest using it, um, or if you have a work workbench or whatever. Because it really does help, because, uh, you know, if you have your chisels maintained and and flattened like they should be, you'll be able to make a really flat surface underneath here. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have a way to secure my wood, so I can't do that. Um, but this isn't too bad. It takes a while, but, you know, it works. Um, okay. Okay, so I got the second piece finished. Um, can't really see it, but... are together and um, they fit pretty well uh, it's you know it's kind of a rough edge so it might look like there's a crack but it's that's a, a pretty tight seal right there um, so this which one is this this is the original well the first piece I carved I mean um, and then this is the second one and it was actually once I kind of got the technique down it took me like 10 minutes to carve this out uh, with the with the carving knife. So it really wasn't too bad. This one, though, also, I didn't go quite as deep on this one. Um, and because of that, because I went deeper on this one, I could go a little shallower with this side. Um, 
but it is a pretty tight fit, so now I just need to mix up my epoxy. I'm going to be using, this is the Gorilla Glue Epoxy, um, and I'm hoping it's still good. Uh, the, the cap came off and it was still liquidy, and I don't know if you can see the bubble, it's slightly moving in there. Um, so it looks like it's still good, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to get this guy epoxied up here. I hope the view's all right. I don't have a stand for my phone, so I'm trying this out here. Um, so first, obviously, I have to I have to like sand this down. Um, so it's to rough the edges, so you know the sandpaper isn't that thick, but it's better than how it was. Um, I may even just kind of score it a little bit with a knife or something, because that's that's pretty smooth. Um, I'm just using a piece of cardboard from the container to mix this up. I also recommend wearing gloves if you happen to have any, um, because this is going to be a very messy job. Okay, so you can obviously see it's bleeding out a little bit. You know, not a big deal. That's what happens. Okay, so there's that, and I'll pretty much just let that dry. You guys can see the whole contraption here. So, you know, these, I don't know what they're called, you know, hand clamps, something. Um, two of those on the top and the bottom, and on the, in the middle, you another bigger clamp that you, you pump it up. You pump the bottom up, you know. You've seen these, I'm sure. Um, so that's that, and I'm just going to let this dry, and hopefully... You know, tomorrow or the next day I can get started carving this. Oh, and I should note, um, I'm going to have to wipe away the epoxy that got on the blade pretty quick. Uh, you don't really want it to harden on there. Um, sometimes it's easier to just cut away, but, you know, if it's liquid, I might as well just wipe it off right now. So, you know, that's helpful. All right, thanks for watching, guys.